Let's give an assignment to our students. Begin by selecting the work tab in the blue ribbon and then choose the assignment you're ready to give your students. Here you can see I have three skills selected, three points per skill, with an assignment goal of nine points. As a reminder, we encourage you to keep your assignments small. Before you give an assignment to your students, you'll want to be sure to use guided practice. One way to do this is by using the preview button. This will allow you to show students exactly what their screens will look like when they log in to begin working. You can also use our full screen button. Using this feature, you'll be able to generate unlimited examples of each skill type. Remember, our skills bank is dynamically generated, so students will rarely see the same problems you've gone over during your guided practice. From this screen, you can also choose to print an assignment. This is a great feature for students that may not have access to devices or have an IEP or 504 plan that requires them to have a paper copy. Printing can also be used with your students for guided practice, as students could follow along with your examples and take notes directly on the page. Once guided practice is complete, you're ready to give the assignment to your students. Simply select the class or classes you would like to assign to and click Assign. You'll be given a notification that these skills have been added directly into your student's mixture view. You can click over to the Classes tab in the blue ribbon and view the purple icon indicating each of these classes are now working on the new assignment. Mm -hmm.